welcome to another PitKit Plus demonstration. Today we're going to be focusing on uh, using the microchip uh, picks from within the Great Cow Basic IDE and it's really focused on those coming from different operating systems and different programmers. Okay, let's get cracking, get started. So we're going to go through the challenge, that's installing the software, configuring the setup, uh, making it work within the IDE and using it. Very simple really. It takes a few minutes. So the solution here is we're going to be using a PitKit programmer. We're going to integrate it within an IDE. There are other videos on how to integrate to other IDEs. This is focusing on Great Cow Basic IDE. It's very simple to integrate. There's no complex firmware changes required to make this work. And you can use your current uh, programmer or a clone. It's down to you what you use. So we're going to install the software. And we're going to install it to a directory called, uh, and we're going to install it to this a directory where I have an installation of Great Car Basic, and there's an empty folder there called PitKit Plus, and you're going to put it all in that folder. Why? Because then all the scripts, all the setup will work for you out of the out of the box. So if you did not install it to C colon backslash GCB at sin, change it when you when you go through this, change it to your um, setup. But I just recommend you just use C colon backslash GCB at sim. It's just easier. Then we're going to start the software just to make sure that we've got it. Um, the software is operational. Then we're going to configure it. Let's do that straight away. So I've assumed that you've got your email, and I put my email on the on the screen here. Here we go. I'm just going to click on that, and it's going to download it for me. It really can't be that fast today. Oh no, it's downloading it. And once it's downloaded. I'm going to now select that to install it. You may get a warning about protecting your PC. We provide you in your email some uh, what are called SHA-256 and MD5 hashes. You can go and check the software. It has not changed since it's been built here. Uh, and, in, and in the download process, that it has not been corrupted or infected or by malware or viruses. And those hashes are things that we generate here and we provide to you, so you go check that. So why I'm saying that is because it, you know, there is a risk, and we've minimized that risk by providing those hashes. I'm gonna run that anyway, and then I get my local warning about new software, okay? So I'm gonna install the software, as I said previously, into the directory. I'm going to read carefully the information, and then select the installation directory of GCB at SYN. You can't see it on the screen probably because it's very small. Let's just remind ourselves in PowerPoint what it looks like. That's the location. C column. It's uh, C column backslash GCB at SYN. And uh, I'll just draw a line around it so we can all see it. It's at this location that I am selecting. Back into my setup. Bitkit Plus install. Takes a few seconds, done. Right, start the software. This is the last bullet on there. I'm just going to start it up. Sure enough, it connects to my Pitkit 3. How do I know it's connected to a Pitkit 3? Because it's got my serial number at the top. Okay, so if I. If I. If I uh, on the top, top of the screen, uh, for some reason you don't see it, but I can see it's connected to my um, programmer and it's found no device. I'm going to show you how to connect a device. This in the middle here says Picket 3 connected, my ID, and it's licensed to me. Great. So let's leave that there and move on back to PowerPoint to see what we're going to do next. So we're going to configure this up and connect up five wires five wires um, and with this pin out little table here it shows you six you need five as a minimum you need one which is the master clear or VPP or reset you need two for the voltages you need the VDD that's the target voltage and VSS the ground on pins two and three respectively and then you've got BGD data on pin four PGC or clock on pin five, and you need to connect those up. Now, this diagram is from a document called DS51792B. And if you look very carefully, you can see 
that the correct way of doing it is like this, where you need to have a pull-up resistor of 10K typically between the master clear and the VDD. That's uh, therefore pin one and pin two. But the problem is here is that these are in the wrong order and your brain might get confused. So let's just look at a simple way of doing this on the next slide. Here are the five wires, one up to master clear with the 10K. The next two are the voltage and the zero volts. And then the next two, that's the green and blue, data and clock. Go find those on your, on, on your chip. So you just need to find the master clear data and the clock, connect those up and then do your voltages. Make sure you've got the 10K pull up and then you should work. What would it look like when it works? It looks like this. If I then do, um, if I back into pit kit forming, I'll go back into my software because I've actually got mine connected. I can connect um, up, I can say device, uh, and it's found my 27Q43. I can use tools and you can't quite see this, so I'll just zip up onto the desktop. Make sure you can see it. Tools, check communications, it finds it. Fam uh, device family, pick it 18. I happen to know this is an MSB chip, so I can select MSB and it finds it. You can see it's found it here. Or you can use recently used and then you know it, it's, it's, it's doing it because I can erase it. I can check it's blank, etc. And that would take some time to check it's blank. So you've got to get those connections to make it all work. Let's go back into PowerPoint. And now we're going to con configure with Great Car Basic IDE. We're going to select Edit Program Preferences. We're going to just pull the Pit Kit Plus to the top of the Preferences Editor. And then we're going to use it. So let's do that inside of um, the IDE itself. This is um, the IDE. I'm just toggling to it because it, the software I'm using it gets there faster than my brain can cope. So I've got it here in front of me. And you can see that um, I've got an icon here called GC Basic. If I click on that, it brings up a dialog box and it looks like this. There we go. So let me do that again. Great Card Basic, Edit Programmer Preferences. And you just need to make sure that it's at the top. So what do I mean by at the top? I will zoom in on that particular pref. IDE, and then you can sort of program it. And what it's going to do for me, it's going to say hello world. Okay, so I've got a little program all set up. It's going to say hello world. So I'm just going to press the button, which is make a hex and flash, and it's going to compile the program. It's going to push it down. It's going to check all the voltages, make sure the connections are correct. It's going to verify it, and it now says hello world. If you don't believe me, okay. I'm going to say hello world again. It's doing it three times because of the reset line is toggling. Um, and if you actually, I'm not going to go into the details of it now. It's just toggling the line. And it, if it, it is very, it's, it's not something I'm going to resolve now. Okay. It's because this is so fast. Okay. And uh, that the reset line is, is flicking up and down. If I actually take the power off it, I can now go back into Pick It Plus, apply the power from in here. Give me a warning, clear. And what you can see is I turn the power on and off, I get one hello world. It was because my power supply is toggling the lines. So I can now do other things in here. I can read, I can write, etc. So if I wanted to manually read that program, it's called new100. I'm going to import that program, new100.hex. I'm going to write it out. 
and it's using the same method, but um, one's using a command line and one is not using command line. So, you know, we've used the command line software within the IDE and this is using the graphical user interface. So, back to PowerPoint. It's pretty simple to use. Um, the software is very easy to use in reality. Uh, the configuration is a relatively simple set as well. So, we've checked all that. We, we actually created a project. It could be a PitKit 2 or PitKit 3. Um, we'll call that a wrap. That's how you install, configure, connect, and use PitKit Plus within Great Cow Basic IDE.